welcome back to another colour palette project. The colour palette I've chosen for March is this one here with this beautiful sky blue and a range of sort of oranges through to yellows. Really thought it was nice and fresh for spring. And um, the image that, that comes with this, this as, as with my previous ones, is from Design Seeds and the colour palettes always come with an image, has this um, arrangement of spoons. And I'm not going to put spoons on my project today, but I do quite like the oval shapes. And the contrast of those sort of bold silhouettes made me think of the sort of mid-century modern design of the late 50s and 60s. And so I'm going to go for a piece of wall art today. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. I've got this canvas. Now, this is quite a large canvas. It's 60 centimetres by 30 centimetres. And I have had this for several years. It's been just knocking about in the house for ages. It's been on top of a wardrobe, down the side of a cupboard. For the last 18 months, it's been propped up against the wall in the corner of this room. And it was starting to get a bit scuffed and marked and a bit dusty and dirty. And I thought, Do you know what? You're going to have to use it, make something with it, hang it on the wall before it just goes beyond help and has to be thrown away. So I've given it a couple of coats of white gesso just to brighten it up because, as I say, round the edges, there were little scuff marks and knocks and, and it was just starting to look a little bit grey and dirty. So I say I've given it two coats of white gesso and let that dry. If you've got a brand new canvas that's nice and clean, you don't have to do that. Not at all. And I'm going to create um, a, a landscape style. This is, this, this is the way I want it to hang on the wall. A piece of wall art um, with a sort of dandelion stylized flower design in a mid-century modern style. And the colour palette being yellows and blues. I've chosen some, um, I've got some 12 by 12 card here in a couple of shades of yellow through to orange which I'm going to collage on some bold shapes onto my canvas. I'm going to add some blue to the background and I've got this lovely pale blue. This is knockout blue from the neon lights range from um, Daco Art Americana. But any, you know, pale blue would be great. And then I'm going to add some detail, probably with a paint pen, because it's easier for me to add fine detail with that rather than a paintbrush and paint. I just find my hands are not steady enough with a paintbrush and the Posca paint pen's really, really easy for adding detail. But to start with, I want to add some blue to this background and I want to mask off a section at the bottom that I'm going to paint blue. So we're going to have a white block at the top and a blue block at the bottom. So I've got my painter's tape here, my masking tape, and I need to just measure up. I don't want it to be half and half, but because this is 30 centimetres, I'm thinking of masking off 10 centimetres across the bottom so that I can paint the bottom third in a blue. So I'm just going to grab my ruler and a pencil, and make a couple of marks on either side and use my masking tape to section that off. Now, as I want my bottom section to be 10 centimetres, I'm going to apply my masking tape above where I've marked it. I'm just going to match up on that mark there and equally on the other side. And I'm going to take this over the side because I'm going to paint down the sides of the canvas as well, just so it looks finished. This is a like a deep box canvas. And I think it looks better if, this, if the paint colour goes down the side as well. So my line's in place. I'm just going to make sure that's pressed down at the bottom so none of my paint seeps through. I want a nice clean edge if possible. And I'm just going to put some of this in a palette. And then apply either one or maybe two coats, depending on how it looks. So I just want a nice solid finish. I'm just going to paint that bottom section.
So I've given this two coats. One coat dried. It was it was pretty good, but there was a couple of places where I felt it was a little bit patchy. So I've given this a second coat. It's pretty much dry. So I'm going to take off my masking tape now carefully. And if you were more careful than me, you wouldn't have some little bits of blue on the white area. But I can just touch that up with a bit of gesso, or indeed I might even just cover it with the collage. But there, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I've got a nice um, block design at the bottom. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to cut out my pieces of yellow and orange cardstock that I'm going to collage onto this. So I've drawn myself two templates, um, basically like a, a lemon shape really. One of them is a fairly even one, this one's a little bit deeper and shorter. They're going to be my flower heads, my stylized flower heads. I want to cut five or six um, from these papers and then that will be a nice arrangement to fit across the width of that canvas. So I'm going to draw, trace around these onto the back of my cardstock, cut them out with my scissors and then we can get ready to stick them onto the canvas and then use the paint pen to add some detail. So I've cut my five flower heads out now. This is roughly how I want them arranged on my canvas, but I'm going to add the detail before I stick them down. It's just going to be easier and much simpler to work on each individual piece before it's actually part of the canvas. And as I said, I'm going to be using a Posca paint pen. They're so much simpler um, than using a fine brush and some black acrylic paint. I will just get in a complete and utter mess with that. So I'm going to, once again, just move the canvas out of the way and work on my individual pieces of cardstock and then we'll come back and put them in place and add the stems to the canvas to complete. tidied up the lines that I drew. I've gone back and thickened up a couple of them um, just so they're a bit bolder and once again I've decided on my layout where I want these to be collaged onto the canvas. I'm going to be using some Fabri-Tac glue to do this um, just because I don't know it is really strong, it dries well, it doesn't buckle the card and I think it's just going to do a slightly better job than the Cosmic Shimmer glue that I usually use. So I'm just going to apply some glue around the edges 
of these shapes and just a little bit throughout the shape pop them down onto my canvas and press down into place last thing to add to our canvas are these stems for the flowers and I want these to all be nice and straight and vertical so I'm just going to pencil in a line with a ruler before I go back in with the paint pen and it really I'm just going to go on, on these ones from where the stamens come out and on the others from directly below where the center of the stamens will be and to say that the the thing the most important thing is that they just are vertical as much as anything so i'm just sort of lining it up by eye and i'm just going to pencil in a faint line as a guide here we have our completed canvas as you can see i think we've um filled the brief well here we've matched the color scheme and i've sort of emulated the shapes that were in this image here and um, with the shapes of the stylized flowers i really love this style this mid-century modern style it's um it's clean and fresh and, and it still looks modern now even sort of 60 70 years later believe it or not and i'm going to find somewhere to put this in the house definitely if it doesn't find a space here on the wall in my craft room it might well go in the bedroom as i do have um a sort of a pale sort of teal color um in our bedroom and i think it might look quite nice there as well but I hope today that, you know, you've seen that you don't need to be a great artist. You don't need to have painting skills, particularly um, to create a really nice piece of bold home decor. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It's something a little bit different today from what I usually do. And I shall be back again next week with another inspirational video for you. But for now, that's all. Bye.